Let's talk about a really interesting game, Rob. Let's say James's Port, Newcastle v, v Tottenham. Um, two teams I, I, I was sort of wrote them announced it would have, I think, at the start of the season, similar ambitions. I know Newcastle within Champions League, Tottenham had no European football, which might have been a benefit to them. Um, another total <laughs> surprise Newcastle 4 0 against Spurs. Uh, Newcastle were excellent. Excellent in, in the Eddie Howe mold. Mo. Considering well, how well many players he's got out as well, by the way. He's got know, another ten, team that's ten. out. Yeah. Against the Spurs team, Rob, and I thought you made a really important point. I'll, I'll let you expand on it. Where you, I think you said the sparkle isn't quite yeah, there. Yeah, well, something. a few things, I think, with him. Yeah. Mm. Remember, remember the start? Like, yeah. there, there oh, was sparkling. And James well, we Madison was like loving yeah. football, yeah. and we were like, wow, this is incredible yeah. what they're doing. Whilst accepting that it's kind of risky, I, I'm. And I know you kind of thought, and this is this is this kind of would back up your argument. Like, I know it is fun to watch, but oh, I don't know if every that's sustainable. Every, I don't know if that's sustainable. Yeah. And and, they, and it was sustainable and mostly successful being in the top four mm. because of the two central defenders, Romero yeah. and Van der Ven, that the, yeah. the, the are perfect Incredible. in some ways yeah. for how they play. Because when it does turn over, yeah. they leave two centre backs yeah. back, two players back, and f and their pace. And the aggressive nature of those two have been okay. Now, so two things have to go wrong. The football from Spurs to have a bad day. Yeah, it's got to be balls away, give, give the ball away. Loose, yeah. so transition yeah. turnovers yeah. and uh, the is, is their the problem. Yeah. And then if your defenders mm. have a bad day, then you got a real problem. Yeah. And Mickey Van der Ven, <laughs> after me, <laughs> <laughs> I mean this is getting <laughs> crazy now. Where I, I I pick out a player before yeah. the game. Yeah. Like this guy's Highlight been really good. Player, it was yeah. Mickey the Van, Van der Ven on, on yeah. the field. Yeah. He's been superb. One of the best signers of the season. And I'm sorry, but I put a curse on these players. He had an absolute <laughs> shocker. He had a nightmare. His worst game in a Spurs <laughs> shirt, slipping over, um, get caught out of position, like for the for the second goal, yeah. um, the ball went over for Isaac's second goal. Yeah. So those two things, bad football. Mm. Okay, we're into transition. Defenders usually help us out. They didn't. Yeah. And 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 it was a great game plan from Eddie Howe, and he said Absolutely. about it afterwards. Yeah. He made big changes. You picked out. You picked out the. Uh, he went to back three, thing. didn't he? Uh, he yeah. went back three out with possession, and then a back five out of possession to stop those full backs with Ogi and Poro coming in. He put extra numbers in midfield, and then when they won that, those quick turnovers with their possession, they went over the top to Isaac and and, and Gordon, Gordon and Barnes. Gordon and Barnes. They were all quick. Very Robert, very fast. All very very fast. Yeah. It, it, was, it was incredible. Um, I just again, I, and and I, and I love Ange, and, and you, you're right. He's brought a, a sparkle back to Spurs that we hadn't seen under the other managers, despite whether they're winning or losing games. I'm just at the point, Rob, and and, and I hate to go don't, there. Don't too, go there yet. Too far. No, not that, no, not that. I've, I've not stopped believing. I've just started to say that he's starting to get a little bit annoyed. Like he, he he's adamant. And I'm not saying But he was angry after the... He, he was accepted angry. it was a bad yeah, day. It was a bad, it, yeah, it was a bad day. It was a bad day, most things were. But is, isn't the, is he allowed to just... Isn't he allowed to just say, actually, it's not a good day today. We, I'm just going to do this. To, to keep doing that, regardless <laughs> of the score line, regardless of the position, regardless of where you're standing in the league, he's going to keep doing the same thing I just but feel, but, 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 but better. But better. He wants yeah. you to do it better. Yeah. And he doesn't I want to give the ball away. I and he wants the defenders to defend. I understand that. Mm. But some days, Rob, we've all yeah. played football. Yeah. You give it away. You, you start playing and you give it yeah, away. Yeah, but what does that mean, though? So you, so for those bad days, you want to change the philosophy and the No, I don't want to change. I'm, I'm not saying I mean? this. These are international, high-quality, high-technical players. I'm saying on days when, actually, we keep giving it away and, and they keep getting in behind us. Isaac and, and, and Gordon keep exploiting you, us. You want them to go to a, a plan As B, Something, C. a half different, plan, different. just a mm. tweak. I know, we said this, but we've got yeah, this. We just this a little before. tweak yeah, that, that says, mm, OK, it's not, it's not our daily. Madison's not, not winning the ball, you know. We're not hurting him down the wide areas. Poro and, and, and Udogi are not getting they on the ball. They didn't have good games, yeah. Yeah, yeah Madison wasn't... wasn't no. Effective. wasn't prominent at all. Yeah, it, 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 I think he admitted it's his worst day. Yeah. And he said it was a really bad day at the mm. office. And he said, I think he said, like, food, food for thought, this. Mm. This food for thought. And whether he rethinks his philosophy, you know, maybe into next season mm. and has something a little different, maybe only one of the fullbacks yeah. goes crazy. Yeah, yeah, whether yeah. he tweaks it, mm. I, I, that's a sign of a, of yeah, a, 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 I think of a bright manager. Bright, and progressive manager who, at this who level, sees this in league, this league and, and yeah. realises actually away from home in certain places. Mm. Can I just finish on with this game? The Newcastle United striker. Yeah, I'm glad you've went. I'm glad you've well, He's 24 I'm, years of age, Swedish yeah. centre forward, yeah. mm. and outside of Alexander Isak, 
and I'm sorry, Ollie Watkins. I think he's the best nine. Outside of Ali and he, outside, outside of, Ollie Watkins. of uh, Harland. So yeah. And I apologise to o Ollie Watkins because he's because yeah. his yeah. numbers are. Yeah, he's you know, he's, 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 he's got 19 now. 19. I think. I think he's he's the second best number nine. Isaac, yeah, at 24, yeah, and I think he's got the potential with the way that he plays. He's a centre forward th that I particularly like. He's Somebody's a, he's a modern centre forward. Well, yeah. yeah, but he's different to he's different, he's different to, to Tony, who's I think a yeah, little Tony, bit more Tony, different to Watkins. Yeah, he's he's got a little swagger mm. about his play, and I know that Arsenal may be looking for a centre forward, and Newcastle United and Eddie Alcala he ain't going anywhere. Yeah, but if there is a centre forward that you, if anybody asks me, who should Arsenal go and buy? Yeah. It's Alexander mm. Isak. Mm. He's got the class, the, the quality, the skill, football. the talent, the goal Couldn't scoring, the age, the future Couldn't to be a brilliant anymore. striker at Arsenal and maybe a couple of others. And I'm not saying he's going to go, yeah. but I, yeah. I just I am forever impressed by a guy. Well, I, I like a, a striker that can do something like, yeah. wow. Yeah. And, it, and he's got that, isn't he? Absolutely. Um, and I don't disagree. What I would say, and, and, and to, to, to add to your point, though, what I would say is if Newcastle United are ambitious, you know, Joe Ellington's just signed, Bruno's yeah, signed. Yeah, he, yeah. He's one of them you yeah. build a team around. Totally. And by the way, with what could be happening up there, I'm the number nine at Newcastle, Rob. We know yeah, legend. you'll be loved. You're legend, legend. don't you? Yeah. You're a legend for life. Yeah. And just, again, before we move on, Rob... Like, I just want the, one more player there, one more player at Newcastle. OK, it might tie into what I'm oh. going to say. Because there's so many injuries all season, mm. we haven't really seen the, 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 the true Newcastle United. No, not we since haven't. very early on. We haven't on. Tonali yet. No. Yeah, we yeah, haven't yeah, had, he's yeah, actually had injury issues. Much. Harvey yeah. Barnes, the new signing, yeah, yeah. is brilliant. Mm. So, you know, it, it, I, I'm, I'm, exci I'm excited I'm yeah. excited to see mm. them next season now, mm. like, and, and what they're, they're just starting to find their form. Well. They might get Europe, some kind of European place. But it, it still looks, it, it, it was such a shame because they built up the squad, some good signings, ready for this campaign of Champions League, and there's so many injuries. The, the end of being a very Quite difficult a few one. kids come through. Yeah. I just want to go to Anthony Gordon, mate. Anthony mm. Gordon, who is becoming sneaky important to the team, was brought in, and we know he had the, the issues initially, you know, with, with Eddie and a bit highly strung when he came off one game, and people were thinking, Rob, he plays either side. Um, mm. a, a bit. He play he's played centre play forward. Yeah. Uh, I've seen him in the League Cup against Man United. He was outstanding. His attitude looks spot on. He, Rob, Right now, for me, is ahead of James Madison to get in the England squad mm. for the for the yeah. Year. Madison's had a real a bad period. It's a good point, and and I think it's full of them, full of them. You know, whether mm. it's Harvey Barnes. Um, I mean, think about midfield. I mean, Bruno Bruno Gamarish, by the way, yeah. is brilliant. Yeah, he's just a yeah. really top midfield player. You got Sandro Tonali, the, the Italian, to come back next year, yeah. possibly, hopefully, yeah. probably. Um, Lewis Miley's done well. Lewis this year, Miley's come in yeah. and has had a breakout season. Defensively, maybe need another. Yeah. A couple of defenders, yeah. maybe. Mm. But they ain't far away from being a really, yeah, really good team if they stay yeah. fit and healthy. Yeah. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.